Hi guys, I'm here with Shanti Lowry. Hi Shanti. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Great. Now Shanti, word through the great fun is you produced. I, yes, um, I love producing and uh, I've directed as well. Um, I think producing is probably my favorite thing because it's exactly what it sounds like. You are, are creating, um, hopefully, art. Some people might disagree, but um, it's just, it's the most creative thing you can do in this process, if you do it correctly. I think sometimes producers aren't creative people and they're just like delegators or business minded, but um, the producers I've worked with and the producer that I, I hope I am, that I hope to be, is someone who really brings together all of the pieces to make art. Um, do you have any current projects that you would like to tell us about? I'm going to be producing a, a TV series um, called Starving Artists. And again, it's like it's a passion thing. It's, it's why we all are here, everybody. We all right. want to create art, and most of the time that means we're starving. <laughs> um, no, just, you know, the stories of, of what people go through to get where they are, because a lot of times you just hear from, you know, Matt Damon, and he's like fabulous, and he's driving <laughs> up in a, you know, in a fancy limousine right, in his right. great tuxedo, but it's like, it took so much to get there, and he worked so hard, and those stories aren't generally told. So this, this show is gonna you know, highlight the crazy things that people go through to make their dreams come true. Um, and I, I'm, I might be in an episode or two. I might Ooh, do a little, a little guest star. Um, <laughs> I mean, you have to watch. You have okay. to wait and see. A little it's, teaser for you. Yeah, very little teaser, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you say is the show that we most know you for? I, th I think probably the game, um, and I'm so honored. I'm so honored that uh, people remember me from the game. It was an incredible experience, really. Um, I met lifelong friends. I I learned so much. I remember um, booking that job. I was booked as a one-time guest star, and I was over the moon. I thought that was just the best day of my life. And then Mara Akil, the uh, creator, when the show got picked up, said, you know, we want you to be on the show, you know, exactly. I, it, it was amazing because I was already so in love with everybody and right, in love with right. the process. And to think, like, I get to do this again, basically. Right. Like, I get to go to work. Um, so exciting. So exciting. And every day, because it was a sitcom where, you know, you, there's a lot of uh, downtime when you're doing a sitcom because there's a lot going on. They're blocking other scenes that maybe you're not in. Right. Again, that played to my, like, nosiness where I was, you know, just always creeping around and watching people and um, watching incredible actors like Wendy um, or Pooch who'd been doing it for a long time. And I really... It's terrible to say because you're supposed to be like, you know, you're supposed to already be a professional actor, but I think I learned how to be a professional actor on that job. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> um, but it was great. What was it like shooting on Debs? Um, that's so long ago. I, 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 was really, I was really young and I was really eager and excited. Um, it was one of my first lead roles in a film. Um, and it was, it was amazing in so many ways because it was me living my dream of um, working with talented people that had been in the industry and, and feeling like I was succeeding at this crazy dream that I had. Um, along with getting to like learn how to shoot these old revolvers and learn how to like kung fu kick people, which is always a good day at work. And um, yeah, just getting to see how a movie was put together because it was a lower budget production. So. You know, just everyone's kind of doing the paperwork right in front of you or, or producing the next scene like while you're there and you can really get a sense for what it's like to, to make a movie. And I think that was honestly my favorite part about working on Debs is I, I felt included in the whole process. Um, and I, as an actress, some people really just like to be in front of the camera and some people really like to know what's going on all around. Right. Just we're nosy, we want to know everything, and that's definitely me. I, I love every aspect of filming, I really do. Okay. I did a film called The Coalition with uh, Team Sizzle, um, and awesome film. I really loved being a part of it. It was another one of those experiences that was, you know, um, life-changing, where you meet people that will be in your life forever. Okay, well, thank you for being an inspiration to the artists oh, out there. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Because you can... You can make your dreams come true, but it's it's 
don't fool yourself, it's a lot of work, but the work can actually be rewarding as well. The work can be the thing that keeps you going if you, if you just look at it like that, you know? Um, it's not easy, it's not an easy life. If there's never, I've made it. There's not this like platform where they're like, and you have succeeded, right. you know? It's always you something keep going. more. Yeah, and if you just remember that, so you enjoy every day and every process and every yes that you hear, hold on to that because you're gonna hear a million more no's and even if it's a little yes and everyone around you is going, oh, well that's not really that big of a deal. Oh, you're not the star. Oh, oh, you're just gonna do one day on it. No, that's a yes, that's a, that's a win. That's you getting to live out your dream and you should just hold on to that and don't listen to anyone else. My one advice. Words to live by. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, Shanti. Yeah, thank you.